In the wake of the apparent assassination attempt against former President Trump, President Biden and Vice President Harris are urging all Americans to lower the temperature, forcefully condemning political violence. No place in political violence for political violence in America. None. Zero. Never. The vice president in a statement after the incident saying, we all must do our part to ensure that this incident does not lead to more violence. Echoing her comments after the first attempt on Trump's life in July. Violence is never acceptable. There can be no equivocation about that. A White House official says President Biden and Trump spoke Monday with the president conveying his relief that his predecessor is safe. Trump complimenting President Biden after their call. He called up to make sure I was okay. He couldn't have been nicer. Still, Trump is not backing down from inflammatory rhetoric, telling Fox News that President Biden and Harris are people that want to destroy our country. It's called the enemy from within. They are the real threat, he said. Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, blaming the left for provoking violence. No one has tried to kill Kamala Harris in the last couple of months, and two people now have tried to kill Donald Trump in the last couple of months. I'd say that's pretty strong evidence that the left needs to tone down the rhetoric. And the White House quickly slammed Elon Musk's recent comments as irresponsible after his weekend post on X appearing to question why no one has even tried to assassinate President Biden or Harris. Musk later deleted the post and said it was a joke. A top Republican, Senator Mitt Romney, also calling for calm. Over the weekend, I saw that President Trump suggested he hated Taylor Swift. I think it, cooling down the rhetoric would be a good thing on both sides. That came after Trump Sunday morning declared, I hate Taylor Swift on his social media site, just days after the superstar endorsed Harris in an Instagram post to her 284 million followers. Donald Trump returning to the campaign trail for the first time since Sunday's apparent assassination attempt. He's set to attend a town hall tonight in Battleground, Michigan, overnight praising his protectors in law enforcement for their fast action. The Secret Service did an excellent job, and uh, they have the man behind bars, and hopefully he's going to be there for a long time. Investigators say a Secret Service agent monitoring the woods ahead of Mr. Trump as he played golf on Sunday saw a rifle barrel through the tree line and opened fire. The subject, who did not have line of sight to the former president, fled the scene. He did not fire or get off any shots at our agent. Republican donor and Trump friend Steve Witkoff was golfing with the former president Sunday and spoke with us late Monday. You hear the shots. How quickly does the Secret Service act? Two seconds, maybe three. The entire team converged on top of him, except for the snipers. The suspect quickly tracked down by local law enforcement. It was probably the highest profile stop this sheriff's office has ever made. His arrest captured on this body camera video, first obtained by NBC News. Ryan Wesley Ruth has a lengthy criminal history, including a conviction for possession of a machine gun. On Monday, federal prosecutors charged him with possession of a firearm by a prohibited person and possession of a firearm with an obliterated serial number. Cell phone records show he had been in place at the edge of the golf course for nearly 12 hours. Ruth's social media posts paint a picture of a disillusioned former Trump supporter who became an advocate for Ukraine and supporter of Democratic politicians. This incident is likely to draw new scrutiny to the embattled Secret Service agency. Have you briefed former President Trump on your findings so far, and has his campaign asked for any changes in his security going forward after yesterday? I've had a conversation with the former president. The president is aware that he has highest levels of protection that the Secret Service is providing him.